दिस इज क्वेश्चन फोर्थ पार्ट ए फाइंड द जनरल सोल्यूशन ऑफ द पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वी कैन इजिली सी हियर यू इज द डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड एक्स वाई एंड जेड आर द इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल हियर यू कैन बी रिटर्न एज यू एक्स वाई एंड जेड बिकॉज यू इज डिपेंडिंग ऑन एक्स वाई एंड जेड सो वी नो द लेग्रांस ऑक्जिलरी इक्वेशन दिस इज नंबर वन डी एक्स अपॉन डी एक्स अपॉन कोफिशियंट ऑफ दिस डी वाई अपॉन कोफिशियंट ऑफ यू वाई दैट इज माइनस एक्स जेड डी जेड अपॉन कोफिशियंट ऑफ यू जेड दैट इज एक्स वाई एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर एंड इक्वल टू डी यू अपॉन जीरो टेकिंग फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट फ्रैक्शन सो डी यू इक्व टू जीरो इट इम्प्लाय यू इक्व टू सी वन दिस इज सपोज सेकेंड फर्स्ट इज हियर सो नाउ टेकिंग फर्स्ट टू फ्रैक्शन डी एक्स अपॉन वाई जेड इक्व टू डी वाई अपॉन माइनस एक्स जेड वी कैन राइट जेड जेड इज कैंसिल आउट सो हियर एक्स डी एक्स प्लस वाई डी वाई इक्व टू जीरो सो On integrating x square by two plus y square by two equals to c two by two, some constant c two by two. So x square plus y square equals to c two. This is equation third. Taking second and third. Taking second and third fraction, we have d minus x z equals to d z upon x y x square plus y square. But since x square plus y square equals to c two from third, so we can write d y equals to this x is x cancel out. Is minus z dz upon c2. So this can be written as c2 dy plus z dz equals to zero. Now integrating c2 y plus z square by two equals to c3. Now putting the value of c2, so we get x square plus y square into y. Plus z square upon two equals to c three. This is equation four. Thus, the required general solution is f of c one comma c two comma c three equals to zero. Or c one can be written as f of c one c two c three. Therefore, u equals to f of x square plus y square comma x square plus y square y plus z square by 2 this is the required solution question 4b find the general solution of of This differential equation, where d equals to d over dx. This is one. We know this is the Cauchy-Euler equation. So putting x equals to e to the power z, 
it imply z equals to log x we know that x square d square equals to theta theta minus 1 x d equals to theta where theta is d over dz यहाँ पे हमने क्या किया है इसमें इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल जो था x था इस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन में हमने उस इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल x को इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल z में रिड्यूस किया है बाय पुटिंग दिस वैल्यू तो यहाँ से हमें क्या फायदा होगा हमारा ये इक्वेशन वन जो होगा डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशेंट में रिड्यूज हो जाएगा तो उसके लिए हमारे पास सोल्यूशन है using this value using 2 in 1 so we have theta theta minus 1 plus theta minus 4 this is this is identity function denoted by i we can write this theta square and this is now this is become a differential equation with constant coefficient so this is say third so auxiliary equation it imply lambda equals to 2 and minus 2 so general solution of theory is y equals to c1 e to the power this lambda 1 that is 2 अब यहाँ पे independent variable जो है हमारा z है तो this is z plus c2 e to the power minus 2 this is z but e to the power z equals to x it imply e to the power 2z equals to x square and e to the power minus 2z equals to e to the power minus sorry x to the power minus 2 so therefore y equals to c1 x square plus c2 x to the power minus 2 this is the required general solution question 4 part c find the particular solution of the linear system that satisfy the initial condition the system of linear equation is given as dy1 over dt equals to minus 5y1 plus 2y2 and condition y10 equals to 1 and dy2 dt equals to 2y1 minus 2y2 this is y20 equals to minus 2 this may or may जनरल सॉल्यूशन फाइंड आउट करना है फिर उसके बाद इनिशियल कंडीशन इंपोज करके हमें पर्टिकुलर सॉल्यूशन फाइंड आउट करना है तो इट्स सॉल्यूशन दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज y1 डैश y2 डैश -5 दिस इज कोफिशिएंट ऑफ y1 दिस इज कोफिशिएंट ऑफ y2 2 दिस इज कोफिशिएंट ऑफ y1 एंड दिस इज कोफिशिएंट ऑफ y2 then y1 y2 okay isko hum is stack se likh sakte hain so we can write y dash equals to ay this is equation 1 where y dash kya hai hamara y1 dash y2 dash a kya hai hamara ye coefficient matrix and y kya ho gaya y1 y2 column matrix assume solution of equation 1 is y equals to x e to the power lambda t where y equals to y t okay we suppose this is the solution of this system so now differentiate with respect to this with respect to t so we get y dash equals to x e to the power lambda t into lambda we can write since y dash is given by 1 this is a y equals to lambda x lambda t where lambda is any 
constant so where y is y is x e to the power lambda t so lambda x e to the power lambda t we can write minus lambda x e to the power lambda t equals to 0 since e to the power lambda t cannot be 0 so a x equals to lambda x this is the equation third or we can write a x minus lambda x equals to 0 or a minus lambda into i x equals to 0 for this is non-trivial solution characteristic equation is a minus lambda i equals to 0 this is 5 minus lambda 2 2 minus 2 minus lambda equals to 0 here 5 plus lambda 2 plus lambda minus 4 equals to 0 lambda square plus 7 lambda plus 6 equals to 0 and lambda square plus 6 lambda plus lambda plus 6 equals to 0 we get factor of 6 6 into 1 so lambda lambda plus 6 lambda plus 6 equals to 0 lambda plus 6 and lambda plus 1 equals to 0 therefore minus lam lambda equals to minus 1 and minus 6 these are the characteristic roots this is the or eigenvalue eigenvalue now let lambda 1 equals to minus 1 lambda 2 equals to minus 6 are eigenvalue so eigenvector corresponding lambda 1 that is minus 1 so from equation 3 this is minus 5 minus 2 this is minus minus 1 that is plus 1 this is x1 x2 equals to 0 0 this is written by equation third so we need to find this non-trivial solution in this equation minus 4 2 2 minus 1 so on x2 equals to 0 0 this is in both the equation they have same value so we take any one equation minus x2 equals to 0 this into this equals to this 0 so we get this here x2 equals to 2x1 therefore x1 x2 can be written as x1 and x2 equals to 2x1 therefore x1 1 2 this is 1 1 2 this is the eigenvector eigenvector corresponding to lambda 1 now similarly eigenvector corresponding to lambda 2 equals to minus 6 so same process कोई भी equation आप ले लो दोनों same आने वाले so first ले लेते हैं x1 equals to minus 2x2 so since x1 x2 this is minus 2x2 and this is x2 if we take x2 common then this is 2 this is 1 this is x2 2x1 
टू वन दिस इज आइकन वैक्टर करेस्पॉन्डिंग टू लैमडा टू विच इज माइनस सिक्स सो दियर आर टू आइगन वैक्टर करेस्पॉन्डिंग टू टू आइगन वैल्यूज बाय सुपर पोजिशन प्रिंसिपल y can be written as this is constant this x1 e to the power lambda 1t plus c2 x2 e to the power lambda 2t so there c1 lambda 1 give value a minus 1 so minus t plus c2 this is x2 minus 2 to 1 minus 2 and 1 and e to the power minus 6t this is y so y1 y2 equals to this can be written as c1 minus t and plus this is minus 2 e to the power minus 60 into c2 similarly c1 2 e to the power minus t and plus C two into one e to the power minus sixty. Therefore, y one equals to c one e to the power minus t minus two c two e to the power minus sixty, and y two equals to two c one e raised to minus t plus c two e raised to minus sixty. But Initial condition is y one zero equals to one, and y two zero equals to minus two. So imposing these two condition, this is the general solution of this is the general solution of system of linear differential equation. Now, this condition for this, this condition for this one, putting c one minus two c two, and minus two equals to two c one plus C two. On solving, we get C one equals to minus three by five and C two equals to minus four by five. Using this is equation suppose four. Using values of C one and C two in four, we get Y one equals to Minus three by five e minus t minus two into minus four by five minus sixty and y two equals to minus sorry two c one k value minus three by five minus t minus four by five e raised to minus sixty that is y one equals to minus three by five plus eight by five. And y two equals to six by five minus four by five e raised to minus sixty. This is the required particular solution.